Okay, so now I got that going, and now I got the inverter going. What? I turned the inverter on, the fan on. Now the fan's going. Okay. This is how you make a 3,000 watt inverter, 4,000 watt inverter, 5,000 watt generator, should I say. Start off with 950 watts, and you can turn it into 5,000 watt generator. Let's turn this all off for a quick second, so I can talk to you. So this is how you turn a 950, as you notice the music turned off, and, well the inverter didn't turn off, because it's still plugged in with the battery. But remember, the output of the DC is charging the battery at the same time, but without the generator going, it would deplete the battery within about, I don't know, 45 minutes, an hour's time. So I'm going to shut off the inverter, okay? That way we don't waste the battery, and look, the fan's going to stop. So this is how you turn a 950 watt generator system like I have over here into anything, into a 3000 watt generator, 4000 watt generator, 5000 watt generator, even a 6000 watt generator. And you're only using, I didn't even need the step up transformer, I didn't even need the step up transformer. Um, you can plug it into the wall and use anywhere from well, because this system only, this actually, um, this VFD only takes 400 uh, watts at uh, 195 uh, volts. But we're not running at 195 volts, we're running at 110 from the wall. So it's about, about half of that, I'd say anywhere from 200 to a, a little bit more than 200. So 200, so 200. You would be using 200 and you'd be getting 3,000 watts of power minus the 200. Or 4,000 watts of power minus the, two, uh, the 200. 5,000 or 6,000 watts minus the 200 plus. Okay? So this is how you get yourself a uh, fuelless, make yourself a fuelless generator. If you, uh, if you want me to show you how, please leave a comment. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here pretty much ready to help out, help you guys out in any way, shape, or form. Please leave a comment, subscribe to my page, like my page. I will help you. I'll show you exactly what to get, where to get, how to build these. If there's an, in, if there's an interest out there, I will actually show you how this is all done and how you can build one yourself and where to get all the parts and all that kind of fun stuff and take you to it and I can show you what's going on. Anyways, uh, give me a thumbs up and tell your friends. Oh, and anyways, winter's coming around the corner, right? So usually everybody's bill in the winter time is like anywhere from, you know, all depends if you live in one bedroom. But uh, I know my last place that I was living at, my bill was anywhere from $675 to $825 every two months. Okay, so winter's coming. Space heaters, right? I mean, everybody's got space heaters in their places and they could be running those space heaters. And, uh, you know, one for every bedroom, that's two space heaters, that's 3,000 watts right there. You know, you got to heat up the kitchen, the living room, right? The, uh, uh, upstairs you got bedrooms, there's more space heaters up there. Uh, anywhere, any any time that you're using space heaters, that's 1,500 watts every space heater. Just do the math, right? Four space heaters, that's uh, 6,000 watts of power that you're using. Remember, I showed you how to get 6,000 watts right here and only using 200 watts from the wall. Or you can even actually get a 3,000 watt generator, right? And then get a 3,000 watt inverter. You got 6,000 watts right there. Or you can get a 3,000 3, watt generator and get a 2,000, I mean a 3,000 watt inverter and get a 2,000 um, watt generator. And that'd be 5,000 watts right there. Still, you're only using only 200 plus from the wall. Very, very cheap, right? Save yourself some money. I'm here to show you guys how to do this. Please uh, subscribe, tell your friends. Uh, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. 
you know, this energy, this power, this electricity is uh, free if you want to know how to make it. And remember, the big guys that you are paying each and every day for your power, your electricity, your consumption that you're using, they know all about it, all, all, all about it too well. So I'm trying to actually tell you guys how you guys can make some power, some energy, some electricity on your own. Alright? On your own, you can make power electricity on your own. This is how you can do it. Right? Just, uh, if you get a generator, anywhere from a 1,000 to 4,000 watt generator, just separate the motor from the generator side. And you, all you're left is with the generator, get, and you get rid of the, mo the motor, the gasoline motor, remove the gas tank, remove all the stuff, all the gasoline parts, motor parts away from the generator. All you want to be left with is just the generator. And then you attach electric motor, and there's no need anymore for gas to be used. Because you're going to be using it from the wall anyways. Right? You're going to be using it from the wall. And we started off with 13 volts from the battery. We're at 12.98. That's what it says. 12.98. 12.99. Right? Seized a little bit. Okay. So you guys uh, have fun. I had a little bit of problems with the, uh, with the, the, uh, the jumper cables over there. Uh, but uh, I got it all done. But this is how you can, you know, you, you can set yourself up to save some money. Winter's coming. Summertime, you can do the same thing if you're running air conditioners, right? Air conditioners are, you know, like they're 1,500 watts each also. So save yourself some money. Okay, everybody. All right, peace. Tell your friends. I'm here if you want some help. Peace out.